Early in May, the oaks, hickories, maples, and other trees just putting out amidst the pine woods around the pond imparted a brightness like sunshine to the landscape, especially in cloudy days, as if the sun were breaking through mists and shining faintly on hillsides here and there. On the 3rd or 4th of May, I saw a loon in the pond, and during the first week of the month, I heard the whippoorwill, the brown thrasher, the veery, the wood peewee, the chewink, and other birds. I had heard the wood thrush long before. The phoebe had already come once more and looked in at my door and window to see if my house was cavern-like enough for her. Sustaining herself on humming wings with clenched talons as if she held by the air while she surveyed the premises. The sulphur like pollen of the pitch pine soon covered the pond and the stones and rotten wood along the shore so that you could have collected a barrel full. This is the sulphur showers we hear of. Even in Kalidas' drama of Sakuntala, we hear of rills dyed yellow with the golden dust of the lotus. And so the seasons went rolling on into summer as one rambles into higher and higher grass. Thus was my first year's life in the woods completed, and the second year was similar to it. I finally left Walden September 6, 1847.